Hello everyone and welcome to today's training. Today's training will be on P4 and P5 power panels. My name is George Roscoe. I'm the product manager of Switchboard and Power Panels. Today I will take you through the very basic features of what are in power panels and then also what our new products that we've launched in the past few years are. P4 power panels are one of the smallest power panels in the industry. At 32 inches wide and 10 inches deep, it is very compact. It can use breakers up to 800 amps, use switches up to 200 amps in the same panel, which is a competitive advantage if you need a few fuse switches and a few circuit breakers. It's also the smallest panel with electronic circuit breakers available as feeders. Some of the key features and stats on P4 panels are as follows. Main lugs can be 400 amps to 1200 amps incoming, and we support main breakers 400, 600, and 800 amps. The main switch can be up to 200 amps, and the busing is a combination of temperature rated aluminum with tin plating and temperature rated copper with silver plating. Then we have several other amps per square inch options available as well. For branch devices, we can twin mount up to 250 amp breakers, including our FD and our FG lines. We can single mount all the way up to 800 amp breakers in one section. We also allow vacuum brake switches through 200 amps to be mounted as feeders. There are three standard sizes for P4 panels. Sizing is dependent on the number of feeders and main breakers as well as features required. The heights are 60, 75, and 90 inches high, and the width and depth is consistent throughout. The P5 panel is the biggest and most flexible power panel offering offered by Siemens. It contains all our fusible switch options and all our circuit breaker combinations up to 1200 amps available. P5 panel stats are as follows. Main lug ratings are the same as P4's 400 amp to 1200 amp. P5 adds the additional main breakers of 1200 amps and also allows for central 800 amps fit in a P5. The other key difference between P4 and P5 is the fusible switches. We now have the 600 amp vacuum brake and up to 1200 amp high contact pressure switches all available. So our fuse offerings are now fully available as mains and branches. Busing is the same options as P4. Temperature rated tin plated aluminum and temperature rated silver plated copper are our default choices. Aluminum is default, temperature rated copper is the second most popular. Then we have a mix of amps and square inch designs available as needed. From a branch device standpoint, by going to the P5, which is 38 inches wide, it now allows you to twin mount up to 400 amp breakers, giving a big space savings. And that's one of the big advantages of P5. And now you can single mount all the way through 1200 amps and both the fused and circuit breaker combinations. The P5 has the same height options as P4, 60, 75, and 90. The depth varies based on whether it's indoor or outdoor. Indoor is 12.75 inches deep, outdoor is 14.25 inches deep. So that's the biggest difference between P4 and P5 is the outdoor configuration and indoor configuration difference for depth. Like switchboards, we have Smart DAS or Dynamic Arc Sentry available in panel boards. What it is, is a maintenance mode for moldy case breakers. It does it over a Modbus network which then is sent to a Modbus RTU, the TCP IP converter, that talks to a controller. The controller then has connected to it switches that are assigned to a specific breaker. When the switch is flipped, the controller puts the given breaker in maintenance mode and then will turn on the given light once maintenance mode has been confirmed. This is available in P4 and P5 power panels today. It requires the 586 trip unit from the VL circuit breaker which is automatically picked and Smart DAS is selected. The Smart DAS option is available in the Accessories tab and will be the first option if it is available. You will need to select a VL electron trip circuit breaker for the, order for the option to show up. When you configure this, the settings of the box will be minimum, but has adjustable short time and instantaneous settings, available to maintain and maximize arc flash safety, and all these settings are accessible by a
Another offering is SEM3 and P4 and P5. SEM3 is completely integrated to P4 and P5 out of factory. Same switches, features as switchboards, such as available 15 amps to 1200 amps. It takes up some unit space depending on how many circuits are monitored. And it talks Modbus TCP IP out and back that out. So you have several options to communicate to upstream SCADA systems. For many years, we could only fit four two pole 125 amp breakers and seven and a half inches of unit space and power panels and switchboards. This became more of an issue as SEM3 came into being, and that takes up unit space in addition to the breakers. We have a new design now that can fit six two pole breakers in the same seven and a half inches of unit space called the HD strap design. And as you can see on the image on the right, it shows the two different breakers we can do it on the LBQD line and the NGB line. This saves space, allows you to integrate SEM3 all in a very nice, tight, high density lineup. It's configurable on Switchboard and P5 today, and it's a very good use for those applications. We have 125 amp breakers and several two poles. Well, high density kit is a big space saver. The option will appear in Compass under the main breaker selection when you select a two pole that can use the HD kit. It will show up as the HD kit that you can check automatically place that breaker in the new HD kit. For example of space savings, in a switchboard section you can fit 34 two-pole breakers with the standard kit and fit 48 with the high density kit with space for another two two-poles in the standard kit. The QR breaker, the replacement to the QJ, has recently launched its full line into panel boards. The 125 to 225 amp QRs are available today and all the same style kits that were available for the QJ are now available with the QR. The J has been replaced with an R in most kit cases. We've also launched field retrofit cases to allow customers to be able to replace a QJ with a QR in the field. Some of the key benefits of the QR is we now have 65 and 100k ratings at 240 and the price points for the QR are better than the FD counterpart at those same levels. Also accessories are now field installable. You install one accessory in a two pole and up to two accessories in a three pole. The other product that was launched recently is part of our CSTOC program. You need to be a CSOC member in order to get access to this. But one of the key ones is unassembled power panels. It's the same concept as unassembled lighting panels and offers a wide range of systems at 208, 40 volts to meet your customers' needs. This allows you to sell out of stock a interior and can a main breaker mounting kit and feeder breaker mounting kits and the breakers right out of stock. It uses the same strap kits for feeders as today and you can add the main kits and cans and busing all together to make a final solution. We use P4s for the 60 and 75 inch high options and P5 for the 90 inch high options. It's available in copper and aluminum bus, 208, 40 volt options. So it's a very flexible design that's available and you can do up to an 800 amp main breaker. So if you're part of the C-Stock program and interested in growing your business, this is one of the key high-end features you can add to C-Stock. In NEC 2017 and UL67 effective January 1st, 2017, it is required to have service entrance barriers on panel board main breakers that are single disconnects that prevent the inadvertent touching of line side components when the cables are installed. Siemens has a suite of options available for every main combo of breakers and fuse switches P1 to P5. Each design is technically field installable, so we have kits available for field installation. And below just shows the images of what each kit looks like in the power panel, from main breaker, main fuse switches, and above. Here's a list of the field installable service entrance barriers available for P4 and P5. Many of these barriers are used on multiple breakers, so it saves the amount of kits needed to be stocked or needed to be ordered. So this information is available in the speed facts today. And feel free to order these as needed if for some reason their service entrance barriers are lost during job installation. One final note on service entrance barriers is make sure you select it in Compass if it is service entrance because we only provide the barriers on service entrance selected equipment. If you forget, you'll need to order one of these kits. Thank you for your time today, everyone, and have a wonderful day.